Hi, I will show you today how you can create and edit your media libraries in PropFrax on air. I will show you all this at the settings tab at folders libraries. So you can create and edit your media libraries where your music files are stored, your cardwall libraries where your jingles are stored and you can even set your VST plugin path or Winamp plugin path and you can set your script library path or even add additional script libraries. So today I will only explain the media library settings for your music. First of all, you have different options. You can set a song history for all media libraries. You can set recursive, for example, to um, include subfolders within folders, which shall be included to your media library at loading your media library. You can set auto save mode for saving your media libraries every 60 minutes. You can also set cache library sync files where for example for folder based libraries um, PropFrex creates at the folder a little PropFrex on air playlist file uh, where your folder library metadata files are stored within this playlist file to load your media library faster. You can also set automatic library reloading or rescanning options. So at reloading a media library, PropFrex looks if a new track was added or even if one track is excluded of this library. And rescanning means that PropFrex looks on the meta informations and if anything has changed, PropFrex will change this only at rescanning your media libraries. You can at every library click on the info button to see what media libraries are loaded and what is your history, your average duration, etc. You can export your media libraries, for example, to create a database. So you can click, for example, on the categories of your media library and then export this as PropFrex playlist file database or CSV file. So this option you will need, for example, to create a database if you want to have a remote database for connecting different PropFrex instances. So at additional media libraries, you can set media libraries with adding playlists, folders, databases, or remote connections from a PropFrex media library server. Now I will only explain playlist and folder libraries and database and remote libraries at another tutorial. So your setting at media libraries will have an effect on how good is your music scheduling. So first of all, you should think about your system, how music scheduling works at PropFrex on air and how your songs should be categorized, for example. So you see, I've got different media libraries here and with double click, you can edit even edit media libraries. There you can set another name, you can add a comment, set a history or a default media type. The auto watch option is for looking at new or even excluded files, even if you do this at playlist or folder libraries, but this only works locally on your local storage. So if you want to add new media libraries, click on add playlist, for example, then PropFrex will ask for your path to this library, double click on your playlist file, give a category and you can set a name or a comment. You can set a history and exclude your library from reload. You can set a media type 
for your media library, which will be important for um, card wall libraries and the auto watch option. With right click, you can also move your media library to another category or create a new category. You can also manually reload or rescan a media library at this window. So as you see, you have got the decision between playlist path or additional libraries. So if you set a playlist path, PropFrex will look within this path for PropFrex playlist files and load all these files to create a media library. Or you can add additional media libraries. I recommend you to use additional media libraries. So now what should you do if you have a network storage and have to work with different PropFrex instances and manage your music scheduling from different PCs? You can locate all your files, for example, on a network storage. And if you store all your media files of a specific media library to one folder and within this folder you set your playlist media library file, you can start PropFrex with a global config parameter which will load um, the configuration settings of the media library and cardwall libraries and mixing settings from a network storage. So all PropFlex instances load these settings from a network storage so that every PropFlex instance have the possibility on managing the same media libraries. So if one instance change a media library or even adds a media library, all instances will at startup or even reloading the media libraries have these changes globally. So how do you do this? First of all, at the app data roaming folder of PropFrex on Air, you will find the settings files, card wall libs, media libs, etc. So place these files at a network storage and then go to your PropFrex shortcut with right click properties and at target, you can set, for example, the global, global config parameter. And after that, you write your path, for example. So all this is also explained at the PropFrex forum, where you can find further information about your command line option global config parameter. If you set your playlist files for a media library within the folder where all tracks of this media library are stored. You can change the location of songs from one library to another library. So at open media libraries new, for example, A, I can choose one song, for example, the luminous Ho Hey. With right click, selection and insert to media library, for example, older C. And now if I hold control key and click on C, the track within the folder A will be transferred to folder C, for example, where the playlist for the media library C is stored. And the song will also, also be added to the playlist C of the media library. So with this system, you can easily manage your whole media libraries and create a very good music scheduling. Last, you have to click on save media libraries and save this media library. And so you don't need any library server or a database. It's enough to have a network storage where all files are stored within folders and create playlist libraries within these folders and then start PropFrex with, with the global config parameter. So you can manage many PropFrex instances and manage your music scheduling.